Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So today we're going to be continuing our study of the Levine family and their life experiences as immigrants as we continue to work toward making connections between our own immigration stories and the story of the Levine family. Today we're going to be looking at a short text called The Garment Factory as we dive deep into how the Levine family made a living and supported their family. We're going to be looking at an image of the Levine family factory where they produced what were called garments. We're going to be watching a short video uh, detailing New York City's garment district, a place where many immigrants worked and produced clothing in factories. Students will be sharing details from the short video clip, as well as composing a complete sentence about what life was like working in New York City's garment industry. In addition, students will be adding some information to their uh, word knowledge building chart for the words conditions and identity. Students will then be reading a short text called The Garment Factory and answering some discussion questions. Once again, there's a number of reading strategies that teachers could use uh, to engage the students. Today's text focuses highly on vocabulary words. So this is an excellent text to use to teach uh, students vocabulary. Um, teachers can set up a vocabulary chart such as something like this, where students would take the vocabulary words that have been bolded in the text, rewrite them, practice pronouncing and spelling them, inserting a picture that they could find online, as well as explaining it or giving an example of where they may have seen this word previously. In addition, while reading, students could also participate in a wraparound, which is a circle discussion where each student has a chance to respond to a specific uh, statement or question. Teachers should remember to always give students some pre-planning time so they are not caught on the spot or caught off guard when it is their turn to respond. Uh, finally, students could practice writing a summary of the text, could practice coming up with questions that they would ask the Levine family to find out more information, as well as look at a first, a primary document um, about factory conditions. Again, teachers can choose which um, clo closing activities are best for their particular group of students. Uh, teachers can ask students to perform a check for understanding uh, where students further describe the conditions in a garment factory. Uh, students can make connections between the Levine family preferring to speak in their native language despite living in America and if they could connect with some of the reasons why immigrants may choose to do that. Um, they could respond to an aspect of the Levine family's work schedule they would always take off on Saturdays for the Sabbath, and students could respond to why the Levine family may have chosen to continue to keep that tradition. Now let's jump right into the lesson. Can somebody please read today's essential question? Good. What are the life experiences of immigrants? Good. We're going to be continue diving deeper into the life experiences of, of immigrants, particularly with what their work life was like and how they supported their family. Can somebody please read the first lesson objective for today? Good. To read closely, to draw conclusions, from the text. Good. So like yesterday where we drew inferences from the text, today we're going to be drawing conclusions, finding final thoughts about what the text can tell us about what the experiences were like for the Levine family. Can somebody please read the second lesson objective? Good. To cite specific textual evidence when speaking and writing to support conclusions drawn from the text. 
as we continue to work and read texts more closely, students should be practicing citing evidence for their responses, finding quotes, finding examples in the text to support their thoughts on the text and to make connections to the text as well. We, I want to quickly introduce two important vocabulary words in preparation for today's do now activity. The words garment. The Levine family produced garments and they worked in the garment district in New York City. They worked in a garment factory. A garment is an item of clothing. They made clothes. A factory, a place where items are made. They worked in a factory. Any place where items are being produced, being made to be sold is a factory, a place where things are made. In this image, we can see, again, from the Tenement Museum, the factory in the Levine's living room. The Levine's had a factory in their house, and this is what their factory looked like. Look at the image. What do you see? What do you think? Good. What do you wonder? Good. You might say, in the image, I see clothes. You might say, in the image, I see a dress. You might say, I think that it was a small room. You might say, I think that it was very cramped. Look at how small it is. You might say, one thing I wonder is how much clothes did they make each day? You might say, one thing I wonder is what type of clothes did they make? Now we're going to watch a short little video uh, providing us some more information about New York City's garment district. Now, this was in New York City's Midtown and as you'll see in the video, this was an important place where clothes were made for people living all across the United States of America. You can access the video clip by clicking on this link. You can pause my video and show the video clip now. After showing the video clip, students can share details from the video as whether write complete sentences about the video. Students may write sentences such as the following. They made all kinds of clothes. More than a third of all clothes in the United States are made in New York City's garment district. The garment district is a place in New York City. Many garment workers came from Europe. A single garment may be made in several different workshops. Students can add information to their chart about conditions and identity. Students may say the conditions of the factory were hot and small. Students may say conditions in the factories were difficult. For identity, it, many different workers in the garment industry had different identities. Students may say Many workers in the garment district had different identities. Now you can jump now you can jump into the text using the discussion questions as well as encouraging students to focus on vocabulary in the way they best see fit. Encourage discussion. Students are going to be highly engaged in this text and you can jump into the text now.